Gavin Newsom's job is on the line much sooner than he had hoped. The California Democrat is facing a September 14 special election that could make him just the third state governor in U. S. history to be removed from office through a recall. Democrats have long held a reliably tight grip on California's statewide political leadership. But despite Republican voters being outnumbered nearly two to one in the state, the recall effort has not only qualified for the ballot but grown into a legitimate threat to Newsom, thanks in no small part to the coronavirus pandemic. Here's what to know about the choice facing voters in America's largest state by population and GDP All registered California voters are eligible to participate in the special election next week. Mail-in ballots have been sent out to all active registered voters. The ballots have two parts. The first simply asks whether Newsom should be removed as governor. If more than 50% vote yes, it's the end of the road for Newsom. The second part of the ballot asks which candidate should succeed Newsom. If the governor is recalled, the replacement candidate who receives the most votes will be elected to the remainder of Newsom's term, which ends January 2, 2023. Voters can fill out just one part of the ballot, if they want. They can also select a replacement candidate even if they vote against recalling Newsom. Opponents of Newsom gather the nearly one. 5 million signatures required to trigger the recall election. That threshold equaled 12% of the votes cast in the previous gubernatorial election in 2018. The petition had been approved in June 2020, and its backers were originally given a deadline of November 17th of last year to collect the signatures. But they received a four-month extension due to the pandemic's impact on their efforts. That additional time proved pivotal. Signatures began pouring in in late 2020, after photos emerged of Newsom dining mask free with lobbyists at the vaunted and extravagantly expensive restaurant, The French Laundry. At the time, Newsom and the state government were advising Californians to mask up and follow social distancing rules as COVID cases began to surge. Newsom apologized for attending the dinner, saying he made a bad mistake and acknowledging that the spirit of what I'm preaching all the time was contradicted. But the backlash refocused the recall election on COVID, even though the pandemic was not mentioned in the original petition. Rather, it references homelessness, high taxes and other issues that conservatives have long included among their chief criticisms of California. The petition, brought in February 2020 by Orrin Heatley, a retired sheriff sergeant, was the sixth attempt to recall Newsom, who was inaugurated in 2019. But the recall campaign's website now puts the French Laundry incident first on its list of reasons to remove Newsom. There are 46 challengers running to unseat Newsom, 